Hey, here's my favorite example I've ever come up with to prove everybody's stupid, not just the South. Uh, this happened in Oklahoma a couple years ago. USA Today covered it. Three guys were all convicted of the same murder. They're sentenced to die on the same day. I got no problem with that. Problem was, <laughs> the judge forgot to decide what order to kill them. <laughs> Somebody's got to go first, right? I mean, it's not like Texas where they got the electric couch. You know? <laughs> well, the warden stepped up. He said, I'm going to execute these guys numerically. Going by that little number. You know, could have whizzed any, but cracked me up. I pictured these three guys checked into death row thinking they got what? 20 years to appeal? <laughs> first day there, they walk past the death chamber. There's a sign hanging up over it, like you see at a deli or bakery or something. <laughs> Now serving number 7474505B. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> well, that state uses lethal injection. Did you know the last thing they do before they stick them and kill them is get a cotton ball of alcohol and disinfect their arm? <laughs> oh, it gets better. Because once they're dead, they pluck that needle off, throw it away. Get a brand new shiny one on there for the next guy. <laughs> People, come on. If there's ever a time to recycle, this is it. You know? <laughs> Hollow out a rusty nail, stab him in the ass, use it forever, save a buck. Are you with me on this? <laughs> Thank you. After a couple years, if it don't break skin anymore, poke him in the eyeball. I don't care, kill the bastard. We got work to do. And they're missing a golden opportunity to have a lot of fun. Put me in charge of death row, you'll love it. <laughs> Y'all have one standing order, and that's nobody, and I do mean nobody, will ever die. On the first try. <laughs> have some fun. I mean, come on, if you think about it, this guy don't have plans for tomorrow, right? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> he won't know it either, but there won't be enough juice in my needle to kill him. But it will knock him out for a few hours. <laughs> that gives me just enough time to wheel his sleeping body into a dark, smoky room with all my buddies dressed up like devils. <laughs> yeah, you pipe in some NSYNC music, that's a Kodak moment when they go, like, And there's something we do in the South that is pretty stupid, I admit, and all my Northern friends tease me, so I'll just step right in it. And that's Civil War reenactments. <laughs> yeah, we don't just do them, we do them big. Every summer in July for a whole week, 110 degrees outside, thousands of guys spend a ton of their own money on these thick wool Confederate uniforms. <laughs> Live in a tent, eat off the dirt, just so every day they can march out into that field and reenact an ass whooping that we came in second on. <laughs> I mean, she's like to see once a year all the Japanese World War II vets <laughs> get those uniforms out of mothballs, jump in a big microwave oven. <laughs> well, that big day for us, set it on nuke. Oh, just like old time. Is that too soon? Find our heroes. Uh, got any military or ex-military we can recognize tonight? Right here. Thank you for your service, sir. Come on, give it up for him. Anybody else right here too? Thank you. No jokes. It's just cool to have a microphone and do that. But I hope everybody here saw what CNN did for the troops a while back. So cool. Troops were rotating home from Iraq. When they stopped in Kuwait, they built this little TV studio, and they pulled this guy off the line. And as a surprise, they had his wife and babies back in Norfolk, Virginia, on the split screen. You can imagine the feel-good moment, man. Everybody's crying. It's great, man. Here's the funny part. <laughs> the guy they picked. He had been in the desert for two and a half years. Yeah, and he looked it. <laughs> no idea what he's going to say. 60 million people watching. Sees his wife for the first time in forever. He blurts this out. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, honey? When I get off that plane Thursday, you best have a mattress strapped to your back. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I did not see that coming, man. But you know what? She did. She was great. She came right back at him going, okay, baby. You best be the first bitch off that airplane. <laughs> 